Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a good one for you. We are going to be talking about everything that you need to know, the good and the bad about San Ramon, California. Got a lot to talk about, so let's jump in and check it out. What's up guys? I am Adam Dobrinich. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Second, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because every single week I am bringing you a new video giving you everything that you need to know about moving to or living in the East Bay here in the beautiful San Francisco Bay Area. Also, I am a licensed real estate agent and as much as I love making these videos for you, I would love even more to be able to help you with your real estate needs. So that number that keeps popping up below, I do answer all of my own phone calls, emails, text messages. I would love to be a resource for you and help you out with any of your real estate needs. So with that being said, let's jump into everything that you need to know about San Ramon, California. All right, so let's jump into talking about San Ramon, California. We have a lot to talk about today, and I definitely want to start with the big stigma that San Ramon has had, which is that it is a sleepy town. And in a lot of ways, that's absolutely true. San Ramon does have a reputation or has had a reputation in the past about being a sleepy town. But that's kind of started to change over the last five or seven years as the city has invested a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of resources into making San Ramon a little bit more of a destination, a little bit more of a hub, and especially for the people that live there, giving them a lot more things to do. So that really starts with the new city center, which is essentially like the downtown for San Ramon. At the city center, you're gonna find restaurants, brewery, shopping, activities for kids, and a great movie theater. It's really a fantastic place for families to spend a Saturday afternoon or take in a movie, dinner, cocktails for a date night. The city center is really only a few years old. Prior to that, there really wasn't anything in San Ramon. You really had to go to one of the neighboring towns in order to do any shopping, restaurants, nightlife. There really just wasn't anything like that there in San Ramon. And since the city center has come in, it has really created that attraction and center point for the people of San Ramon. And one of the best things that you can find about the city center, especially for a lot of the people that have moved from San Francisco to the suburbs and have settled down in San Ramon is you can actually find some of your favorite restaurants from San Francisco in the city center. These are restaurants like De La Rosa, Rome Burger, Slanted Door. So some of those household restaurant names that you would find in the city, you can actually find now out in San Ramon. So jumping into some of the main reasons why San Ramon has become such a desirable place to move to, to live in, to settle down, is one, the housing options that you have, and two, the schools. So first, let's talk about the housing. San Ramon really offers something for everybody when it comes to housing. So starting on the east side and the south side of San Ramon, this is where you're gonna find some of the older, more established communities. These are old ranch style properties on larger lots, so you get a little bit more space when it comes to your lot size in these areas. And as people have moved into this part of San Ramon, you've seen a lot of renovation going on, people remodeling these homes. But again, some really fantastic options there as far as housing goes. And then when you move west, this is where you get into the master community anchored by some of the subdivisions like Gale Ranch and Windermere. And in this area, this is where you're gonna find your newer construction properties. And this is everything from townhomes to smaller single family homes, all the way up to very large single family homes with five bedrooms and three, four bathrooms. And so this master community was really designed in order to provide an option for everybody. So if you're looking to you know, just get into your entry level home, whether that's a townhouse or a smaller single family home, or if you have a growing family and you need more bedrooms and need a, a larger house with more square footage, this part of San Ramon really has something for everybody. Now in talking about the housing here in San Ramon, one of the things that's definitely worth calling out is that there are actually a lot of outdoor activities to do 
around town. San Ramon has really done a fantastic job of creating lots of trails, lots of parks for people to hang out at. So it's very easy to be outdoors and you have lots of different options. And of course, you are also close to Mount Diablo State Park as well as Las Trompas Regional Park. So if you're looking for an entire day of hiking or you wanna just kind of get out and explore the outdoors, you have those large parks that are very close by to you. But if you just wanna stay in the neighborhood, like I said, there's trails that were built into these communities along with you know just kind of your neighborhood parks if you want to have a birthday party or go and lay out in the sun read a book but so San Ramon does really have lots of things that you can do in order to get yourself outdoors and it's very easy and very accessible to do so and that's definitely something that is a great highlight and something worth calling out for San Ramon over the last decade prices here in San Ramon have increased dramatically and when you combine that with the other high cost of living in Contra Costa County the housing expense is something that we absolutely cannot deny and because San Ramon continues to be such a desirable area especially for the things that we're going to talk about throughout this video people have wanted to continue to move and live here and so it has really created very high housing prices and so again it's just something that goes with the territory here in San Ramon that uh, if this is a place that you want to be it's highly desirable and because of that it's very competitive and so it is going to certainly come with a higher price tag okay so let's Let's talk about the schools. The schools in San Ramon are absolutely one of the main reasons why people move to San Ramon, especially if you have a family and those kids are getting ready to start school because San Ramon schools are ranked as some of the best in the entire state of California. Now, as a real estate agent, I'm not allowed to guide you on the schools or tell you which schools are the best. That's just something that's not allowed for a real estate agent. However, there are some fantastic resources like great schools schools.org that will really allow you to dive into the data as it relates to schools and their rankings and what they have to offer. So I highly encourage you to do your own due diligence check out those resources like greatschools.org. There's lots of good Facebook groups out there as well where families, moms are part of these groups and can give you a lot of good feedback as far as what they think of the schools. So like I said, definitely do your own due diligence, but it is absolutely undeniable that the schools in San Ramon are ranked amongst the best in California and is certainly a big draw as to why people are moving to San Ramon. All right, so let's talk about the weather here in San Ramon. So in San Ramon, in this part of Contra Costa County in general, you're gonna have a bit more of the four seasons when it comes to weather. So in the summertime, the days are gonna get into the 90s pretty consistently. You'll have a few days that reach in the hundreds. You will also have those beautiful summer nights. In the wintertime, the temperatures are gonna get down into the 50s during the day. At night, it'll absolutely get down into the 30s and 40s. So it'll definitely be colder in the wintertime. So you will certainly have that contrast between the summer and the winter. And in the spring and fall, you get some really beautiful weather because you're in those transitional seasons. So of course in the springtime temperatures will be a little bit more moderate everything is blooming again so it's a really beautiful time in the fall the weather stays warm you know September October and starts to kind of cool down in November so again you get those nice transitional seasons when it comes to the spring and fall but one of the things that we do need to call out when it comes to the weather in San Ramon is actually the wind because of where San Ramon is situated you get a lot of wind coming up the canyon and it can certainly make those evenings feel very cool even during the summer when the temperature may be in the mid 70s or even 80 but that wind that comes through will certainly make it feel quite a bit colder but it is something that you notice living in San Ramon or visiting there during the afternoons and evenings you definitely want to have a jacket regardless of what the day feels like and so that's just something to call out and keep in mind that you do actually get a lot of wind in San Ramon and it's a little bit surprising because other parts of Contra Costa County don't really get that quite as much as San Ramon does but like I said it's because you have the wind coming up through the canyon there feels a little bit like San Francisco as far as the type of wind that you can get but in general the weather in San Ramon is absolutely fantastic and if you're looking for the four seasons where you get those temperature variations San Ramon would be a great spot for you. San Ramon definitely comes with some great opportunities when it comes to jobs some very large corporations like Chevron 
has their headquarters here. AT&T has large offices here. The large Bishop Ranch Business Park, there's just a lot of opportunities for jobs in San Ramon and makes it really convenient if you're living right here or in even one of the neighboring communities. But if you don't work in San Ramon, the traffic and the commuting can actually be a con for San Ramon. First, San Ramon doesn't have easy access to mass transit like the BART train. So if you take BART into one of the major employment hubs like Oakland or San Francisco, you basically have to drive to either the Dublin Pleasanton BART station or you have to drive to the Walnut Creek BART station. And that's gonna add somewhere between 15 and 25 minutes just to get to one of those BART stations depending upon the traffic. So there's not easy accessibility to BART if that's a major way that you like to commute in both the morning commute and the evening commute. It makes it a little bit difficult being in San Ramon. Your commute is just going to be longer and you will experience traffic. So that's definitely something that we need to call out when it comes to San Ramon is that the kind of the commuting and the traffic factor is something that you'll definitely have to have on your radar. So just a couple of other things for us to talk about in San Ramon is it's generally more of a commuter town. It's not really kind of well known for walkability when it comes to being able to easily get to a restaurant or shopping or something like that, especially if you're coming from an area like San Francisco or Oakland when you're used to kind of walking around and to kind of get from place to place or just sort of easy access. So the walkability is a little bit tough with San Ramon, even though the new city center is there where, like I said, you can catch a movie, restaurants, shopping, uh, hanging out with the family. San Ramon is still a quieter town. And so if a lot of activity, especially if you were coming from one of the bigger cities where you are used to a little bit more energy and that kind of thing, San Ramon is still a little bit of a quieter town. And so it's something thing to keep in mind and there's still not a lot of nightlife and so usually when it comes to nightlife people are going into Walnut Creek which is a little bit of a bigger city or heading out to areas like Oakland or San Francisco and so if nightlife is something that's important to you you're not going to get a whole lot of it in San Ramon so again just something to keep in mind when you're considering San Ramon for your lifestyle for other people not having a whole lot of nightlife could absolutely be what you're looking for but uh, I just want to call that out is San Ramon is still on the quieter side when it comes to town despite having that city center and so again if you're looking for a lot of activity you may find yourself going to one of the neighboring towns or cities. All right, so that covers my list of the key things that you should know about San Ramon, California. If you have any questions about this, if I can help you with any of your real estate needs, please do not hesitate to reach out. Here is my number again. Like I said, I do answer all of my own phone calls, emails, text messages, so you will get a hold of me if I can do anything for you in regards to your real estate needs. Please do not hesitate to reach out. I am happy to be a resource for you. So with that being said, have a great rest of your week and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.